Hi, and welcome to Vines Apparel. My name is Nicole, and I'm here to help you grow your reselling business. Creating a video about starting a podcast in the clothing industry may sound like an odd combination, but in fact, the podcast can add a new way to generate income and direct more traffic to your online store or current services. I came across this idea when I was looking for ways to expand my own brand, and I found it to be a little less difficult than I initially expected. It's also an out of the box way to start an income stream that doesn't have to depend on clothing sales. For the purpose of this video, I won't be going through the step by step details of actually starting a podcast, but I will be discussing the benefits of starting a podcast for your business, including how this service can be used to get more customers to your online store. So let's get into it. Whether you sell on your own website via an app or a marketplace like Amazon or eBay, a podcast can be utilized to gain a following and get more customers aware of the products you have to offer. For starters, what is a podcast? According to How Stuff Works, podcasting is a free service that allows internet users to pull audio files, typically MP3s, from a podcasting website to listen to on their computers or personal digital audio players. So pretty much you'll record an audio file, whether it's a discussion or some sort of commentary, upload it onto the hosting site of your choice and make it available to listeners for free or for a fee. Podcasts are usually comprised of topics that would never get radio play, either due to subject matter or the station simply doesn't think it's a viable investment. I mean, if it can't make money, I mean, just saying. So before deciding to start, you'll want to think about the overall concept and cost to get started to decipher if this is something you really want to look further into. Some things you'll need to bear in mind include the overall concept, including the podcast name and desired content, needed software and hosting, hosting fees via your own website can run about $30 to $60 a month, depending on the types of services and options you choose. There are free options available, but in many cases, the options are limited or the service Services may be unreliable over time. The platform you'll be using to host, whether it's a streaming platform or your own website, where you offer visual content like interviews or group discussions. And if that's an avenue you want to take, do you need visual software like Skype, for example? Promotion. Along with announcing your podcast via your social media accounts, You'll also want to take advantage of free podcast directories, which will create an avenue for new listeners to hear your production and visit your site. By the time you pay for hosting and buy your equipment, the average low end cost to start is around two to three hundred dollars. If you're not really sure or not confident that this is something that you would like to do, there are free and inexpensive options available that will allow you to test the waters of the concept before jumping into the ocean of podcasters without a life jacket. The premise of a podcast involves understanding your listeners and delivering content that's of value. I'll be at a learning experience where you can offer educational or training courses or creating a supportive community that offers networking with a discussion that centers around relevant business topics. There are several ways that this type of platform can be used to make money for your business, but there are three main avenues to generate revenue. Business promotion, subscription and membership plans, and paid sponsorships and affiliate programs. Podcasting can work as an added feature to your existing podcast catalog, or it can act as a standalone feature for non-related content if that's what you choose to do. For the purpose of this video, I'll be covering the core methods that can be used to ease the pain of dips in clothing sales by providing an alternate way to supplement your income business promotion. One of the biggest obstacles to conquer is getting eyes to your store in the first place. You need to know about SEO settings and keywords. You need to understand who your target audience is and how they buy. There's a lot going on before you even start an advertising campaign. And once it's started, it can get really expensive really quickly. A podcast can offer you an inexpensive way to promote your business while giving your listener a way to learn more about you and your business. It creates a way to build rapport and friendships, leading to more website traffic and the added opportunity to make more sales. When we feel someone is good natured and striving to provide a high level of service, we want to support that person. This is how influencers have been able to make millions over the years. Their followers feel like they're friends and they buy from them to show their support. This method helps to build your brand while opening a doorway to enhancing or creating lasting relationships. Subscriptions and membership programs. 
Subscription and membership programs provide a way for you to offer exclusive content to your audience for a fee. Whether you're teaching a class about sales and services or you're creating an opportunity for one-on-one -on -one training, you'll be using your expertise to offer a supplementary service. When sales are slow, paid memberships can help to close the gap. It's a method that offers a way to generate income on a consistent basis without having to rely on traffic to your store. If you want to use this method, it works best if you already have a decent social media following. So if you don't have a decent following, you'll want to get started on that. With scams being on the increase, partly due to the pandemic, most people are not willing to shell out their hard-earned dollars on someone they know nothing about. Listeners will want to already be familiar with you and will want to have trust that you have their best interest at heart. Before deciding on the content you want to monetize, make sure that it's of value and offers more information than a standard YouTube video. If your content doesn't hold value, can't expect anyone to want to pay for it. Paid sponsorships and affiliate programs. Another way to generate a form of income that's not impacted by clothing sales is to promote other businesses via paid sponsorship. In this method, the company will pay you to be a spokesperson for their company or their product. They'll want to ensure that your image and message fall in line with their core values. The company will either pay you for mentioning and explaining the brand during commercial breaks provide you with a code to give to listeners for special discounts or both. When listeners use your code to make a purchase, you get a percentage of the sale and depending on the type of sponsor, your cut per purchase can get up into the hundreds or even the thousands. Affiliate marketing is very similar to a sponsorship, but there are a few differences. With a sponsorship, there are certain stipulations put in place to ensure your production meets their eligibility criteria but with affiliate marketing, it's more about the links and clicks to a certain product or their website in general. Entire podcasts do not need to be dedicated to the company and most are not as strict about the content. This method works best if you already have your own website. So to incorporate this concept into your podcast, a commercial break or even a side note can be used to mention the company and to tell listeners where the links can be found on your site. Before starting any affiliate program or sponsorship relationship, keep in mind to research the brand and avoid scandals. Be sure to read all the rules and regulations required by the company and avoid violating any part of the agreement the sponsor may suspend or drop you as an advertiser. My goal for this video is to help as many people as possible. I don't know how many this will help, but I do hope that the ideas can be pulled from this information to help create a way to ease the financial burdens that a lot of us are currently dealing with. So my hope is that we all work together, we help each other through these trying times, and we use this experience to teach us and open our minds to new ways of doing business and working with one another to help one another. Thank you so much for visiting and I'll see you soon. Thank you.